what up it's benji back once again with another tutorial on guys i don't have many quick tips for you but i got a few first quick tip would be use your shortcuts your shortcuts are important to being quick inside guys the shortcuts are real easy and real simple because they are laid out just how the tabs are laid out so the browser is one the tr transmod is two uh the pattern is three four for the layer mixer five for the pad mixer six for the global mixer seven for the scene uh eight for the song page and nine for just mapping mapping your uh midi controllers now the ones that i probably use the most what i do use the most is one two three four five six so you're going to be using those the most so just get familiar with actually like being able to like set those and hit those whenever you know quick tip number two would be doing layers okay everybody keep asking me do i do layers inside here yes i do layer inside of guys so let me just uh pull up some quick kicks or oh, uh, i think i do got some kicks up yeah you don't want to have auto load on because that's what that's going to do is just auto load into whatever pad that's selected or whatever you don't want to have that on you want to turn that off you want to double click all right so you find my drum and i double click so the double click is going to put the first drum inside of the first layer. What I want to do now is just go find a different kick. Say I want this kick. Now what I do is press Alt Option on the Mac. Then double click. That puts it on the next layer. Alright. So as you can see this is layer 1. This is layer 2. Alright. So find another kick. I'm holding down Alt Option and d double clicking. That puts it on the different number three layer and so forth and so on you know you can just keep going till all the layers are filled and you have i think eight yeah eight layers only so once you get the eight right what it does is it cycle back to the first layer all right so it will always cycle to the first layer once you have eight layers already so if i hold down all option and click again double click it'll only go to the first layer even if i go to the next kick or whatever it's always going to put it on the first layer that's because i have all the layers already occupied if you want to use a different layer after you have all eight layers occupied you just have to click on the layer and then go to your whatever uh whatever sound that you want in that layer option then option click all right and that will change the layer once you have all layers filled all right so that was my two quick tips for the day next thing i want to get into is snare rolls and hi-hat rolls a lot of people been asking me how do you do snare and hi-hat rolls in here which is really really easy but one of the things that everybody wants to do is go from like a six say if you're doing like a 16th note hi-hat go from a 16th note to an eighth note triplet hi-hat i've been talking to fx expansion for the last week or two about this and technically guys just technically there is no way to do that yes this is what they told me they said there's no way they they haven't really uh implemented that into the workflow or whatever and there's no really way to do that so uh you will have to just find a way to do it and which i have found a way there is a way to do it the easiest way to do a triplet going from a 16th to an eighth triplet is to manually put it in i know right that's how i do it and that's the easiest way to do it the grid is actually set right here so you have the length of the actual sequence grid set right here to 16th right and you trying to do a eighth note triplet inside of a 16th note grid so if you could do 30 seconds and and 64 you know what i'm saying on on the grid or whatever as long but if you're going anything below that which is eighth note triplets or four note triplets is a little bit tough is because even when you're using the manual manual way which you can use this repeat right here but the repeat even though you have your yeah your, your repeat on eighth note triplets the 16th note sequence still will actually try to quantize the note 
to make it a 16th note sequence within that within the 16th note sequence so the eighth note triplets won't work inside of a 16th 16th note length sequence within the program another way of doing that which is probably a little bit more if somebody want to just take that journey is you want to put it on a different grid all right once you can put you could put it on a different grid and then set the length of the actual sequence to a eighth note then you do that you could just paint it in and it already mag automatically be eighth notes let me find a better hi-hat or something that is a way to actually know that you know what i'm saying you're doing six, eighth note triplets on uh on the grid where you know it is it sound right and it's on point if i can find a real good hi-hat keep in mind when you're doing an eighth note triplet and your grid is set to an eighth note triplet it's not going to loop back at the start of the sequence correctly because your grid is actually an eighth note grid these little sliders over here that's what these are for you know what i'm saying stuff like that i don't know if you can see this but it's a little slider which affects the length of the actual track that allows you to loop it back to where it's actually going to be like looped to the timing of the other sequences which is probably going to be a 16th note sequence which i have right here as you can see it's not looping back right so if i was to put like a That could be cool as well but you might want to just find like where where it's gonna loop back at and then so it can loop back on time all right that's the beauty of that's the beauty of these little uh sliders right here and i'm glad they did that you know what i'm saying so that is a different way of working with eighth notes and triplet note i mean triplet notes thanks for all the questions about the program thanks for tuning in subscribe to the channel there'll be more tutorials like i say i've been in contact with f expansion trying to uh get them to do certain things so subscribe to the channel thanks for watching this is benji thanks for tuning in peace